Y'all, I really can't believe this year's almost over. It's actually insane. Hi, beauties. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I know I said I was back and better than ever, like, two weeks ago, but now I'm back. I don't know if I'm back permanently, but I'm really gonna try to be. As soon as I did my makeup that week, and I posted that video, like, the day before my birthday, I cut my cornea, so I, I couldn't wear my contacts, and if you know me, you know I'm blind as a bat. Like, I need my contacts to see and I don't own a pair of glasses so yeah it was just rough <laughs> I cut my cornea I couldn't do makeup I couldn't wear contacts it was it was it was a lot it was a lot but we're here we're here now yes we are <laughs> I did film this video originally I just didn't have any makeup on all I had was like brows and red lip but half of the video didn't even take on my phone I really don't know what happened there so we're we're doing it over again y'all that's why this video is a little late but we're here we're here I did my makeup a little festive today some Christmassy colors and I'm really really obsessed with it honestly i love me some rhinestones and it's giving me life i've missed the rhinestones baby i missed the rhinestones but today we are gonna be getting into holiday makeup collections are they hits are they miss are they bops are they flops baby i got the tea i got the tea because honestly i'm not very impressed this year by the holiday collections not very impressed and honestly i think they're kind of lacking too this year like I was really surprised because the Halloween collections were coming out of the yin yang, y'all. But the Christmas collections, I'm like, where are they? Like, I'm searching for them. And a lot of brands, I see them doing, like, gift sets, which I really, really enjoy because I think they're great stocking stuffers. And But I just don't see the holiday collections. Like, am I missing them? Somebody please help me out. <laughs> but anyways, before we jump into this video, if you haven't already, make sure that you press that subscribe, uh, subscribe button and post notifications bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video baby also if you haven't already and you're really into makeup tutorials one on this look will be going up either today or tomorrow you can check out my Instagram and TikTok they are linked down below for y'all disclaimers as well they're still doing construction beep beep beeping it's it might happen it might happen I am sorry and my chair needs some WD-40 okay I'm gonna try to stay as still as possible <laughs> I got my old phone here because I took pictures of like everything off of Instagram. I went to some brands actual pages and then I also use like Trend Mood because I feel like she usually has most of the new collections up and about. I know she gets paid to post them but so she might not have all of them but I did get some from there. I think the one that I want to start with is this one actually from Odin's Eye. I have personally never ever 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 tried this brand and and I'm not gonna lie, these palettes look gorgeous. Gorgeous. I will say this is like one of my absolute favorite holiday collections that I've seen so far. The packaging is so cute. The colors are so stunning. I've always heard really good things about this brand. If you've tried them, please let me know in the comments because I kind of want to try them like coming up. Maybe I could do like a little video with them on here or even on TikTok trying Odin's Eye for the first time. But this palette right here is honestly my favorite favorite because it really gives me Christmas vibes and just the greens in general are so pretty but the shimmers the shimmers are like speaking to me oh I need to try this freaking brand I need to try it it's so gorgeous but yeah I think this is a total hit this collection um I don't really see the need to come out with four eyeshadow palettes the only thing I would say is like maybe come out with one eyeshadow palette like the one that I said that I really liked that um kind of red and green tone and then maybe come out with like some more other things I would say I really enjoy kits like I said before for Christmas because I think they're great stocking stuffers and usually you can save a little bit of money on items because they're bundled together but nonetheless I I think that this collection is a win she's a win next we have a few from ColourPop. now they did come out with another rudolph the red nose reindeer collection and honestly it's a miss for me it's a miss and the only reason why is because i think it's just very repetitive i mean i know brands like to come out with like like Lamlight, the second michaela collection and um 
what else i mean ColourPop's even done it before with sailor moon and the sailor moon but the sail the second sailor moon collection was almost better than the first one in my opinion so i'm glad that they did that but this one is just not doing it for me i will say the colors of the palette are very christmasy very holiday season which i enjoy because it goes with the theme i hate when like people come out with a certain collection and it just does not go with the theme but it's just not for me. I will say if the, if I was going to get anything from this collection, which I'm not because I feel like I have like all of this already from ColourPop in different collections, but the um, Luxe lip glosses because I love those so much. They're so gorgeous and they look really sparkly and pretty, I will say. But this collection is a miss for me. A miss. ColourPop. Uh, they're always hit or miss though i mean let's be honest color pops always hit or miss now this right here i do enjoy from color pop they came out with these little sets and like i just said two or three times already i love little sets like this because you get to save some money and perfect stocking stuffer perfect stocking stuffer they have a little lip kit they have these little eyeshadow and eyeliner kits and I just feel like these are so great, especially if you have like a young child that wants to get into makeup and you don't know where to start. Something like this is perfect because it's not too pricey. ColourPop is good quality and just perfect perfect for beginners so i really really enjoy these i will say i wouldn't personally like purchase them for myself because i have all of these colors and everything already but this is definitely something that like i would pick up for my little sister and put in a stocking for her because she loves makeup and i know that she would enjoy this ooh, ooh. what's next okay let's get into the melt cosmetics the christmas town collection this is gorgeous to me honestly and i thought the halloween collection was gorgeous as well uh i felt like there was a lot of people that were like there was a lot of mixed reviews on it not of the product but just like of the collection in general but i I think it's gorgeous. I honestly think anything that Melt Cosmetics comes out with is gorgeous. And their products, they might be pricey, but they are really good quality. I bought the whole entire Metamorphosis collection. Um, I want to say like over a year ago or something like that. But I bought it when it was on sale. And it was every penny was worth it. Every freaking penny. I will say the eyeshadow palette is definitely my favorite. Y'all know I'm an eyeshadow girly anyways. And I love the colors in here. The per I wouldn't say that it's like very Christmassy, but it's very like Nightmare Before Christmas. You know what I mean? And I love it. It's on theme. The bag is freaking phenomenal. I feel like you could fit a couple of collections in that bitch. It is huge. And I love that they came out with a green and purple lipstick. It's very different. Not definitely not for like the everyday wearer of makeup, but I love it. As somebody that loves some creative makeup, gorgeous love her love her so much i will say i don't really enjoy when highlighters and blushes come together in a compact like this i just don't really care for it i would like to see like a highlighter in its own compact and a blush in its own compact but nonetheless this collection is a win she's a hit baby ho 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 she is a hit that does not go together okay next now makeup revolution makeup revolution i am very shocked by them this year i did not really see a holiday collection from them i correct me if i'm wrong but I even went to their website and all I saw was all of these freaking advent calendars. They have so freaking many advent calendars. I was like, holy shit, which I'm not mad at because... Honestly, the one that they came out with last year was really nice, just like with their regular products. But I like the fact that they come out with like the Wonka one and the Shrek one, because if you were a fan of that collection, then you can get an advent calendar and have more things from that collection, you know? So I really enjoyed that. And also advent calendars are so freaking fun. I was really, really surprised that they did not come out with a Christmas collection though, because they came out with the elf one last year. And I was just very shocked by that but i'm not mad at the advent calendars at all i will say this emily in paris one she does look a little sad it was like an 80 dollar 80 dollar freaking advent calendar um well worth 80 dollars, and then it was 55 dollars, and then it said it was on sale for 27.50 and this was the only one that was not sold out on their website and it does look a little sad. I'm not going to lie. I don't think I would pay $55 for that advent calendar. I'm just saying. But nonetheless, I really do think that the Wonka one and the Shrek one are very, very cute. Very cute. 
Okay, Makeup Revolution. This is a brand that I have not bought from in years. And actually, the last thing that I bought from this brand was literally a holiday, like, a couple of holiday highlighters because they were just so gorgeous. I honestly bought them for the packaging because it was like gold and sparkly and pretty. I actually just got rid of those. But MAC Cosmetics, y'all. I'm pretty sure this is a holiday collection um, just because of the packaging and the snowflakes and stuff like that. But honestly, I'm not totally mad at this. I'm not totally mad at this. It's kind of gorge, especially these little eyeshadow singles. I've never... Besides that, I don't think I've ever tried eyeshadow from MAC. No, I haven't. I've tried lip products. I used to get my brow um, pencil from there and maybe a blush or two, but I've never, ever tried a single eyeshadow. And I really think that this um, single green one especially is really, really pretty in the kind of iridescent -y one. So gorgeous. But I really wanted to talk about these lipsticks right here. They kind of remind me of the Anastasia ones with the glitter in it. But these look gorgeous. I think that that's a blue color. Like I think that's a dark blue and I need that on my lips like right now. It kind of matches my freaking nails. Midnight. <laughs> These are gorgeous. I think that's stunning. And I see that they're still coming out. Like this little highlighter right here is the same exact one that I had like pressed in the pan. Same exact color and everything. So that is kind of like boring if you're going to come out with the same thing every single year. I'm not going to lie. But she's gorgeous and it gives people a chance like if you wanted to try that from last year and you didn't get a chance now you can. Um, the little eyeshadow palettes Eh, eh. I'm not really a huge fan of the color stories. Um, the blues are pretty, but it's not giving very Christmas. It's giving cold girl, but it's not giving Christmas in my opinion. So yeah, but I do think nonetheless, like the packaging is pretty and some things in this collection, I would definitely try to pick up because I've never tried it before. So why not? I mean, it looks gorge. So this one is like kind of on the hit and kind of on the miss. It's like in between. What's an in between for hit or miss? Let's just say a maybe. She's a maybe. <laughs> now, Bobbi Brown, they came out with... I don't even want to say this is a holiday collection. This might be just stuff that they've already had um, on their roster. But then they just put it in little sets and stuff. I know, like, the Vitamin Rich, like, face bases have been around forever. But they do have like a limited edition um special packaging one. Which I think looks very sleek and gorge and I would definitely pick that up just for the packaging. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm so bad about that, but I really do enjoy these, um, like, little sets. Y'all know that I got some of it in PR. Um, I will say my favorite thing that I have seen from this collection is definitely the face palette. I'm a face palette junkie, so this palette right here, I really, really enjoy it. Not only the packaging, but the colors inside. There is a color for every Every skin skin tone in there and I really really like that I have not even tried any of these yet y'all I haven't been doing makeup at all so that's why this stuff is still sitting up here on my desk because I want to do a video with them um, I will say I don't think that I would like spend my money on this right here I kind of wish that they would have came out with a holiday eyeshadow palette instead of this this is kind of um, it's cute packaging and stuff but this is so small and you only get two eyeshadows in there and like honestly everyday wears you're gonna be able to slay this all day but I need something like a little bit more I need like a pop of color or something I don't know I'm not just gonna be able to go in with two shades that's just not me when I went in with two shades today. <laughs> Jesus, clocking myself. But not with like neutrals, you know? Like I need a pop of color. That, But that is honestly just me. And Bobbi Brown is more of a neutral tone eye, like not eyeshadow, but just a neutral tone brand in general. Um, Like that's their target audience is an everyday makeup wearer. Nonetheless, I think these are gorgeous, especially the lip kits. Um, and oh, 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 this little kit right here. Where is she? Where is she? This little kit right here. I definitely think this one is worth it because it comes with five eyeshadow sticks and a mascara. So I really, really enjoy this one right here. If you're going to get any of them, this one and the cheek palette for sure, for sure. But I would say overall, it's a hit. I was honestly kind of surprised not to see any holiday collection from Half Magic Beauty. I feel like at the beginning, 
beginning of the year they were really coming out with a lot of new products and then towards the end of the year they kind of like died down a little bit they have came out with new products like here and there but they've definitely slowed it down a bit which i'm personally not mad at because that gives me time to catch up baby you know on the things that i don't have and what i want and things like that i hate when brands are like overloaded with new products like every week it's just too 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 much but they did come out with this little everyday fierce set i don't know if they have different sets or if this is the only one but if you've been wanting to try some products from half magic or you know somebody that wants to try products from half magic this is definitely the way to go because you get a magic drip glitter lip gloss and you get the magic flick liquid eyeliner which i would say is probably one of their best selling products and one of their best products because it's just like such a different eyeliner like very innovative but such a great eyeliner at the same time so i would definitely recommend this and i think that this is a hit even though it's probably not a holiday collection it's definitely their products that they have all year round definitely a hit a hit baby wet and wild wet and wild wet and wild wet and wild i was shook it when i saw this collection this year i was like wow that's it like personally i don't think that i would enjoy this collection just because it's just very bland to me and honestly the packaging and everything like that it's giving very much like kids makeup like very much kids makeup which I'm not mad at but I do like that they have these little sets right here just like the ColourPop and they also came out with sets of their products that are out year round I think they came out with like little eyeshadow sets something like that but this collection right here I would say is a miss for me definitely a miss I don't know I guess they were just going with different animals I don't know the theme I don't get it it's like animals with scarves on and like hats and like there's snow but that's about the only thing that's holiday about it so yeah this is a miss for me definitely a miss i will say if you have like a like i said before if you have a young child that wants to get into makeup wet and wild is also a great brand to start with because they're inexpensive and they do have great quality products now for miss nyx cosmetics that girl was so bad god dang somebody auto-tune that please <laughs> nyx had it popping this year and i am shooketh I'm shook it's like this is the kind of collection that I thought Makeup Revolution would be coming out with because they are always like overloading but this this is some crazy shit right here some crazy shit I love the flamingo okay I just said that those random animals were weird but it is the year of the flamingo I feel like like she is just everywhere a flamingo she's everywhere Taylor Swift flamingo pink ah! i will say i don't think any of this is like really new new except for where's it at the eyeshadow palette which it's kind of iffy for me i do like the greens and stuff in there but i other than that i wouldn't go out of my way to buy this little palette i will say i absolutely love this huge thing of lippies like this would be a perfect christmas gift obviously it's too big to be a stocking stuffer but this would be an amazing christmas gift especially for somebody that loves lip products this looks phenomenal and the packaging is gorgeous so freaking cute they also have a little advent calendar which is nice it's definitely not a 25 day advent calendar maybe like a 12 and they have like the little setting spray sets the little lip sets the little lip gloss sets good things like that which i think are great stocking stuffers like i said before so i think this collection is honestly a hit for me not only because of the packaging but they have like a lot of variety and i love it i love variety okay you're a hit miss ma'am miss nick nick's cosmetics but y'all know Too faced Too Faced is always coming out with their holiday collections and honestly they're always kind of boring to me. I feel like out of every collection that Too Faced has ever came out with the holiday collections are always very repetitive and very boring. Um, the only thing that's not repetitive is like the packaging obviously they'll switch that up a little bit but like the colors and everything like that very very repetitive. This freaking palette right here especially though this one that they came out with this Mary Mary makeup face and eye palette gifts mm, this palette is ugly I'm sorry you have one pop of green in there and then the rest is like pinks and browns like where is this holiday where 
somebody tell me where this is holiday i don't know i just I don't like the layout. The layout is very weird. If At that point, just do the eyeshadow palette and then a face palette also and make that a set. You know what I mean? The It's just not for me. Not that eyeshadow palette. Not the whole collection, honestly. It's a complete hit. Not hit. It's a complete miss for me. Um, I just don't like it. I, they really need to either just stop or they need to get a new creative director or something. I don't know. I just feel like Too Faced is a brand is a brand that's very 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 repetitive and I just can't get with it and they I also can't get with it because they're just sneaky shady people so goodbye Too Faced goodbye but that was literally it y'all that seemed like it was way too fast like how do we get through that that fast uh people are lacking on the holiday collections this year well not the holiday collections but the Christmas collections I was like really shocked really shocked Sorry, y'all. I need a nap. <laughs> but anyways, please let me know what you guys think about these holiday collections that I've shown here today. I'm sure I've missed some. I was searching for a while, though, like last week. I was searching for a while, trying to find some, like, good make holiday makeup collections, but... I just it's just not giving it's just not giving and I know there's a lot of brands right now coming out with like the Lunar New Year collections but like Lunar New Year is not till freaking February and every single time that they come out with those collections they all look the freaking same so I'm just not going to include those in this because it's obviously not a Christmas collection like hol Christmas holiday collection and I don't understand why brands do that. I don't understand. It's a cash grab in my opinion. Cash grab. But anyways, that's the story for another video. <laughs> if you did enjoy this video and you want to let me know, make sure that you give it a big thumbs up and leave me a little Christmas tree emoji in the comments if you stay here till the end, baby. Happy holidays. Now, I still, I still have, I still have not even touched a thing touched a thing in these collections they have just been sitting here staring at me like bitch when are you gonna pick us up and play i am doing it this week maybe friday and then the video will be up this weekend but yeah i want to get into those this freaking week it's already wednesday so i really want to get into those by friday by friday your girl's diving in and i'm hoping that the video is up by the end of the weekend okay hold me to it you better hold me to it but anyways i love you beauties so freaking much thank you for being here with me today and i hope you beauties are enjoying your holidays whatever you celebrate and i will see you in the next one bye y'all